So today I'm going to show you how to um, use some of the stack stamps and um, just a cutter that I bought on Amazon um, and make a cute little pin bin. So let's get started. Nothing special, just a little sheet of clay and I'm going to spray a stamp with some water and you can see it's pretty thin. I'm going to run this through my pasta machine at a level one. Um, I'm going to lay a piece of plastic over and then I'm going to try and center this and I'm going to use an acrylic block just so that I'm pressing evenly. It creates a little bevel around the edge just a really nice finish. And I have pre-baked these little pieces. They are from, I made them from these stacks and just cut them out. Now is I am going to put the piece that we just cut over this raw sheet. so that I'm basically adhering a raw piece of clay to a baked piece of clay and the, that I wanted it to be raw is because I want to push these in and if it is raw it makes it a lot easier to do so I'm just going to slightly position them where I want them and then I'm going to gently um, use my acrylic block and I'm just going to squish them into the clay and try to do it gently so that you don't break the pieces that you just made. A little piece of clay through um, the pasta machine with my texture sheet. And I am going to cut this out to make a bale for our pendant. Now we'll wait till our piece finishes baking and then we'll add this to our pendant. Experiment, um, so I hope it turns out. I am going to uh, try to age this um, pendant and the first thing I'm going to do is just spritz it with a little bit of water, like a little tiny bit of water. And I'm just basically working on the background at this moment and just kind of rubbing the water in a little bit. And I've squeezed out a little bit of this red, um, what is it called, cadmium red deep hue from Basics. And uh, so basically what I want to do is just, I don't want to cover it completely with paint. I just want to put enough on there that it's going to tint it. And then I'll use a, let me reach over and get a brush. I'm basically going to use a brush, uh, paintbrush to kind of get into the cracks and crevices. And again, I'm just focusing on the background. I'm not too worried about the top part just yet. And I'm going to get the, uh, uh, the bale too. This. And then I'll take a paper towel. And I know you guys have probably seen this technique before, but I'm just going to wipe off the majority of it. And it's very subtle. So now I'm going to use a little bit of the blue paint. And it looks really bright. This is um, ultramarine blue. And I'm going to spritz it again with water, mainly just to dilute the paint so that it isn't, um, you know, a huge coverage. And then I'll go back in just to different areas. I'm not trying to cover the whole thing, I just want some highlights here and there. Like 
so and down at the bottom then again I'm just going to dab some of that paint off and I'll keep doing this back and forth just adding a little bit here and there and letting it dry and see if I like it and if I don't um, like it I'll just add more <laughs> or experiment with something else but I'm going to continue on with this and I'll speed up the video so you can see what I'm doing and hopefully it ends up okay <laughs> This may be a disaster, but I'm going to try this uh, dark chocolate. It's like you never know until you try. And the nice thing about polymer clay is it's pretty forgiving. So if you do something that you don't like, uh, generally you can fix it. I say generally because sometimes it just does not work. So I'm going to add a little bit of brown to the pink up here and around the edges. And the whole goal of doing this for me is to make it look like it's older than it is. Make it look kind of aged. Kind of liking the way that looks. It's hard to tell, probably with the lighting in here, but I'm just going to let that dry a bit. Okay, that's what we have so far.